Hello, curl friends. Welcome back to the Frizz and Frills channel. My name is Chloe. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of my curly tutorials and tips. Today, we're going to be talking about a little bit of a different topic than what I would normally talk about for my channel with the curls. And it's something I used to be almost ashamed of, and I really wish I had have spoken up about it sooner, but I didn't. And it took me many, many years to figure out why my scalp was so angry at me. I have seborrheic dermatitis, okay? If you are not familiar with that, it's a skin condition that normally resides on your scalp or potentially some people would get it on their eyelids, their eyebrows, maybe a mustache. You can pretty much have it almost anywhere on your body, but for the most part, a lot of people get it on the scalp and that's where I had my issues. I would have redness, flakiness and my flakes would be like yellowy and nasty and big not to gross anybody out but it was it, it was not pretty in some areas would get like scabby or it would start bleeding i mean you guys it was awful and i was super ashamed of it it, even though it was just my body and the way it was but at the time when i was growing up nobody talked about it other than the fact like oh dandruff you have dandruff right and i was like okay cool so like i popped on some head and shoulders or whatever and i was like oh okay well, i'll be fine but it, it wasn't because that wasn't solving any problems now before we get more into the why of what seborrheic dermatitis is i do want to just quick pause and make sure that you guys know if you feel like you have something like seborrheic dermatitis or if you have a major skin condition that you have not really figured out what it is yet i do highly recommend you go to a professional dermatologist and have somebody who really is trained on that to take a look see what it is and get a professional opinion i am sharing this today because i want to share my story with you guys because i wish there were people or YouTube when I was growing up for somebody to tell me what their story looked like and so that I could at least feel validated in the fact that I wasn't crazy and that I wasn't alone. I also want to thank Curlsmith for sponsoring this video because a huge piece to my journey with this has been them and helping me so much with some of their products. So again, I want you guys to know this is my journey. This is what I'm sharing with you today. But if you feel like you have an issue that you know needs to be addressed, please go to a professional to make sure that you get the proper opinion and the proper help. Now let's get back into the nitty gritty details here. So you might be asking, well, why do you get seborrheic dermatitis like why does that even exist what's the difference well the difference is normally it is a buildup of a type of yeast on your skin that yeast it is called molassezia i will pop it up here so you can see what that <laughs> how to actually say it but it's basically an oil secretion on the skin that sometimes it bothers people and sometimes it doesn't that's my understanding of it. Again, I'm not a professional, but this is my understanding of it when I was doing my own research. Also, everybody's can look very, very different. Mine personally could look very different from the next person's. For me personally, like I was saying earlier, I had these kind of like large scaly patches that would get like stuck in my hair. I am, warning, I am gonna put a picture up here of just like a, the best picture I could find of what I felt like my scalp looked like at that time. Now I do not deal with it nearly as bad. I swear my scalp doesn't get itchy until like day five until I need to wash it again. But at this time when my scalp looked like this, that is when I was washing my scalp every freaking day. Yeah, clearly it wasn't working. And really, I've been dealing with this since I can remember. I actually, my mom told me when I was really little as a baby, she said I even had cradle cap at that point. So I feel like this has just been in my genes since day one. And there was no getting rid of it until I actually knew what the culprit was. And believe it or not, I actually didn't 
even know what it was until my sister had gone to a dermatologist for a couple reasons and she had mentioned to the derm about her scalp issues because she had always had the exact same problems as I had had. And they're like, oh, well, it's called seborrheic dermatitis and we're gonna prescribe you a ketoconazole shampoo, which is a prescription-based shampoo. Now, I tried that as well and that's the first sense of relief I ever got in my entire life on my scalp. No scalp shampoo had ever given me any sort of relief. I felt like it would give me relief for like the day of, and that was it. So this specific ingredient is supposed to be, it's like an antifungal, right? So it helped take the problem away. However, that specific ingredient is extremely drying too. And like for how much shampoo I need for all this hair, it was just kind of like, I would only use it sparingly on my scalp only and then I'd use something else. And so at the time I was using a lot of actually Curlsmith's products. And this is maybe about, I would say five years ago when I started trying that out. Now, fast forward, Ford until about a year and a half or so ago when Curl Smith launched my love, my wash and scrub, okay? This is part of their detox kit. They launched this truly a year and a half ago. I tried it out because I was like, I already love Curl Smith products and I'm like, you know what? I'm willing to give this a shot and see if I can make something else work for my scalp. So this is the detox kit, if you're not familiar with it. It has three products in it. It's kind of like a three-step system. You have a prebiotic primer, then you have the wash and scrub, and that's your probiotics, and then you have the postbiotic calming conditioner. So it's a three-step process. You can use them all together, or you can use them piecemealed and separately as well. They don't have to go together, but they do work really beautifully all as one as well. Now you might be thinking, okay, so why did something like this work for you that's just like an over-the-counter type thing, right? Well, here's my thought on it. What Carl Smith did is they designed this to be all about preserving your microbiome of your scalp, okay? So microbiome, all right, it's kind of like this shield, okay, like the shield for your skin of all these tiny microorganisms that are making our bodies and our skin do what they need to do to protect us and to honestly make us live, okay? That microbiome needs to stay nice and balanced and healthy so that we can stay nice and balanced and healthy. And guys, when I say after I would say two washes of using this, I did not feel like I needed to use that prescription-based shampoo anymore. This I now use about, I would say two, maybe three times a month, which is probably more than what the average person would use it for because they're not trying to inhibit something like seborrheic dermatitis. But for me, I like to use it what would be considered every other wash, which ends up being every other like basically like 10 to 14 days okay so every 10 to 14 days is when i would put this on so two to three times a month i normally wash every five to seven days that balances out to that every other wash so all in all these products right here i truly feel have in a sense saved my scalp and it saved me some coin from having to go to the dermatologist and get a prescription all the time it worked for me extremely, extremely well. And that's why I wanted to share it with you guys in case you have the same issues. But what I also wanna tell you is that this is not only for people who have a scalp condition like this. If you, in general, just wanna take care of your scalp or if you have flakiness or itchiness in general, this is an overall really fantastic system for honestly every single hair type. I fully, fully believe that. It is amazing for my wavies, my curlies, my coilies, my dry, my oily, my, if you have hair, <laughs> if you have hair, I fully believe this system will work for you. It is really important to take care of your scalp and to clarify, all right? I don't know if you know about clarifying. If you're new to this, I don't know where you are in your curly journey, 
but clarifying along with your typical gentle shampoo that might be more moisturizing is really important because we wanna make sure that we keep that scalp really nice, clean, and clear. If you don't wash your scalp and you don't clarify it and you get product buildup and you get all this buildup, even just from your daily oils and use, right? And you keep putting on conditioner over conditioner over conditioner, your scalp is gonna get buildup. And when that scalp gets buildup, you're also going to have issues with your scalp not being able to breathe and it's not gonna be able to operate right and that microbiome is gonna get messed up. So clarifying is a really important piece so that scalp can breathe and as well so that your hair can grow properly as well. I feel like I've talked about that a lot, especially as of recently. I don't follow the curly girl method as a lot of you already know because it practices only co-washing, which is not gonna allow your scalp to breathe and do what it needs to do properly. That's where hair loss can really come into play if you are not cleansing your scalp properly. And that's one of the many reasons why I do not like curly girl method. This system right here is really made to be integrated into your regular routine, not necessarily to replace your current routine. This is what you want to be able to get all that goodness on and away from your scalp. And if you wash your hair once a week, similar to me, but you maybe don't have as many scalp issues, but you wanna make sure you're clarifying on a regular basis and still keeping a really nice and healthy environment on your scalp, then I recommend including this, especially the wash and scrub, about once a month. But if you do tend to have scalp issues, I want you to maybe try it about twice a month and see how that goes. So it's a little bit of a trial and error, just as like anything is with hair. And just know that you can increase or decrease the amount of times that you use this in your routine. And you'll find that right balance that works specifically best for you and your scalp. And guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for joining. I hope this was helpful for you, especially if you deal with the same type of scalp issues that I do. I hope this makes you feel a little less alone in your journey. And if anything, also, if you're new to your curly hair journey and to make sure that you're integrating a, clar a nice clarifier into your routine and in general, just taking good care of your scalp, that's what I wanted to make sure that gets across from this video. It's a very important piece to the curl journey and if you guys didn't know already i do have a discount code from curlsmith specifically for any of these products you can use it this is what it is right here and i will also put it in the description below as are all the products that i talked about today all linked in the description below as well and thank you again curlsmith for sponsoring this video y'all know they're one of my absolute favorites and until next time guys i'll see you then bye